Hey, and welcome back to New and Old Survival. This is Darren. Today, I was actually in the middle of something, and I thought, shoot, why don't I make, why don't I make a video about it? I'm going to show you how to make a superfood. It's good for your gut, your intestines, and it's sauerkraut. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make it. Stay tuned. All right, I've got two heads of cabbage, and the first thing I want to do is uh, I'll be using a little salad shooter. So I'm going to try to, it's got a small opening on it, so I'll try to get these small enough that I can put down in that salad shooter. This is super simple, especially if you've got a couple of tools. Now if you don't have a salad shooter, you can cut all this stuff up by hand. But who wants to do that? All right, I'm going to run out of room. And for this, I'll take about that much. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right. Hope I'm not blocking all of the view. Move my knife. That ain't gonna go. Shoot. Trying to get all this in frame or as possible. Here we go. This makes quick work out of it. You can also add other spices. Uh, hot peppers if you wanted a hot uh, sauerkraut, but nobody would eat it here if I did that. And that's all we're doing. So what, in order to save some time on this video so it ain't so long, I may just cut this off. show you the end product all right so this is what we ended up out of that one head of cabbage and uh, like I said this stuff is super good for you any fermented food kimchi uh, sauerkraut there's recipes online for uh, fermented deviled eggs fermented pickles and I assume way back that's what people actually would do so not only was it good for them but it was uh, it'll camp so what I've done is this is just kosher salt you do not want to put salt that has iodine in it because iodine will kill the bacteria that you need to make this stuff ferment and there's a general recipe I think it's like a tablespoon per head or something but I think that depends on what size a head of cabbage is so after you dump some salt in there I start with a little bit first because you can always add then you're just going to macerate this stuff with your hands okay so make sure your hands are clean and fingernails clean you don't want bad bacteria getting into it but that's all you do folks is just cabbage and salt and then we will mention some notes towards the end of the video some precautions that you want to take and the more that you macerate this stuff up it's going to produce its own water okay so that salt's going to pull the water out of the cabbage and that's what we want. It needs to have some juice. So, for the price of a couple of cans of sauerkraut, you can buy you a couple of heads of cabbage. And instead of two 12 ounce cans, you can have your 
oh, probably about four to six pints of this stuff. Like anything else, we pay for convenience. But the stuff that you get in the cans is, of course, pressure canned, which means it's been canned with high heat. And that kills all the good bacteria that you want to put in your gut. So, when, whenever you put this in your own cans, let's see if I can see how that water's coming out of there when I squeeze it. It's making its own. But uh, whenever you put this into your own cans, you just want to leave the lid a little bit loose, not, not real loose where air can get in, but this stuff will continue to work. And you can go back two years later and it'll still be good. Sometimes you'll get this stuff and it'll have a little bit of black mold on the top of it. And all you gotta do then is just scrape that off and get down below it and everything below it's just fine. So you can see how much that has condensed. So I'll probably have to shred this other head of cabbage and add to it. Another thing I do is taste it. You can kind of judge it by how salty it is. Mm, it could use a little more. Like I said, I just, not really a recipe. That's some coarse salt, good grief. I really prefer the fine, but that's a work. That little bit of extra salt right there is going to help it to make more juice. Okay. I'm just going to macerate this up some more. Not much. I think we're just about ready. Alright, let's see what we got. This stuff was made, oh goodness, I don't know. I didn't do the research to see how long it was has been made like this, but long, long time. That's all there is to sauerkraut. Cabbage, salt, stuff it in a jar, let it ferment. I usually check mine, oh I don't know, 10 to 14 days later. But I tell you, it's it's better, a whole lot better after about three weeks. This might be enough. Stuff that down in there. I'm sorry, you can't see, but goodness, all we're doing is putting cabbage in a can. And. Where's that juice we need? Make sure it goes in there. Wipe a bowl. That way we get all the cabbage, all the salt. And church this morning, they said they had some extra cabbage left over for a dollar a head. And I immediately knew that this is what I was going to do with it. Because every time I make it, it don't last very long at all. I could probably do a dozen jars, and it might last us six months. Because not only do we eat it for the taste, we also eat it for our health. All right. All right. Now, I poke that down. You can see the juice, maybe, hopefully you can see the juice coming up there, okay? I actually would like to have a little bit more in here, but uh, 
the juice is almost at the top. If I let that sit for a little bit, it'll probably continue to rise. But let's see, I've got I've got one more head in the floor, which I'm thinking about doing some cabbage soup just to eat. I think I'll put a little bit more in here. I'll do that, then uh, I'll bring you back. All right, we finished that jar up. I just added a little bit more. Water's all the way at the top. And this is the special lids that you use. Uh, it'd be hard to do, but if you had like a, a one gallon bottle, eh, it'd be tough to get out. It's hard to say. Um, you could put it in that bottle and put a balloon over the top. But this is an airlock. And it just goes in there. And this airlock uses water. Put it up to our line. I'll put a little bit more. And what happens is when this thing produces carbon dioxide, it will allow the carbon dioxide to escape, but it won't let air back in. Okay? So we're going to put this on here, set it on the shelf for about 10, 14 days, and we'll give it a check. What I may do is once it's working, come back and show you what it looks like. Alright, that's how easy it is to make sauerkraut. Cabbage, salt, and you'll need some type of an airlock, just like I showed you. And uh, that's it. Let it sit. And it'll sit there. If you keep it in a cool place, like out in your basement or a garage or, um, you know, where, where the air don't get a lot to it, where it heats up and cools down, heats up, cools down. Keep it at a stable temperature, then it'll last a couple of years without pressure canning and the beneficial bacteria in the sauerkraut made naturally at home is way far superior to anything that you can buy. Plus, you can add those uh, other things, carrots, you can ferment any foods and they'll produce that same uh, strand of bacteria. So I appreciate you joining me today and now it's, I've got to do some cleanup and maybe another cabbage recipe. I'll thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.